Do you ever ask yourself, why is my computer moving slower than a turtle and a sloth combined? Why is my computer taking so long to start up? What color is a mirror? Hmm. You probably didn't ask that last question. If you did though, we gotta talk. But if you ask the first two questions, you're probably looking for answers without breaking the bank, right? Well, don't you worry. Marco the Martian is here to help by giving you 10 tips to make your PC perform faster. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to never miss a video. Also, make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you won't miss the most important tip. But let's not waste any more time. Now, the first tip I recommend that you do is to simply restart your computer. I know, I know, it's an obvious solution, right? But you'll be surprised how many people forget about this option. If you find that your PC is behaving horribly slow, just restart it. Using the sleep mode and the hibernation option will save you power, but only a full reboot can clear those cobwebs out and give your computer a fresh new start. Which now brings us to tip number two, disabling any applications that launch on startup. One reason your PC may feel sluggish is because you have too many applications running on startup, programs that you may never even use. Stop these applications from running and your PC will move smoother than my forehead. Sometimes I just don't know what goes through my head. To do this, go to Task Manager and click the Startup tab. And you will see a list of programs and services that launch when you start Windows. Included in this list is each program's name, as well as its publisher, and whether it's enabled to run on startup and its startup impact. Simply, to stop a program or service from launching a startup, right-click it and select Disable. This doesn't disable the program entirely. It only prevents it from launching a startup. However, you can always launch the program after launch. Also, if you later decide that you want this program to launch on startup, just simply go back to the page and press enable. Let's now talk about our third tip, which is uninstalling unused programs. Now, if cutting back on boot programs doesn't do the trick, then it's time to do some deep cleaning, if you know what I mean. Eradicate any program or application that you do not use. In order to delete these applications, Simply search for add or remove programs in the Windows search box and work through this list of installed programs. After this, your hard drive should have some space to run Windows efficiently. Which now brings us to tip number four, undo some appearance options. Undoing some of Windows animations will give you better performance. To do this, right click start and select system. In the resulting control panel, select advanced system settings. This brings up the system's properties dialog box. Already on the advanced tab, Click the settings button in the performance box. This brings up another dialog box. You can uncheck some of these options or simply select adjust for best performance. If you're willing to sacrifice some aesthetics for speed, then this is the tip for you. Tip number five, we have stop resource hogging programs. Your computer could be running a program that's poorly written and hogging a lot of resources. To find out what's taking up those precious resources, all you have to do is right click the taskbar and select task manager. On the processes tab, click the CPU column header to sort the processor usage. One way to manage these programs is to close them after you're done. Don't always assume the top program is the one hogging the CPU, but be careful when closing some of these processes. Some may be critical to Windows or maybe even a program that you're working on at the moment. For tip number six, we have turn off Windows tips. Windows occasionally gives you tips on how to better use your operating system. However, in order for Windows to give you these tips, it has to keep an eye on your PC to see how you're using it. Yes, this is kind of a privacy issue, but it also slows down your PC. To turn it off, click start, go to settings, then select system. After that, select notifications and actions in the left pane. At the bottom of the notification section, turn off get tips, tricks, and suggestions as you use Windows. For tip number seven, we have change your power plan. If you're using Windows Power Saver option, then you are slowing down your PC. This plan reduces your PC performance in order to save you more energy. However, changing your power plan from Power Saver to high performance or balance will give you an instant performance boost. To do this, launch the control panel app, then select hardware and sound. Go to power options, you'll typically see two options, balance, which is the recommended setting, and power saver. To see high performance setting, click the down arrow by show additional plans. Either pick balance or high performance and you'll see an instant performance boost in your PC. For tip number eight, we have install an SSD drive. Trust me, upgrading a hard drive to an SSD 
is like trading in your bicycle for a Corvette. Upgrading to an SSD drive would be life changing. It'll supercharge your PC from boot times to application launches. This is the single most noticeable upgrade that anybody can make for their PC. You can find all types of SSD drives going for 10, 60 gig nowadays. So you can get a 500 gigabyte SSD for like 50 or $60, which is not too bad if you ask me. For tip number nine, we have installing more RAM. I know you guys have all heard the joke about downloading more RAM for your PC, but if you're running your PC with less than eight gigabytes of RAM, it can negatively affect your PC performance in many ways. Memory constrained systems can begin to choke once they start handling multiple processes at one time. And that includes having a lot of tabs open in Chrome. You'll probably want to replace the memory in your system to avoid potential conflicts when installing the new RAM. But an eight gig memory model can be found for around $50 at basic speeds. Which brings us to our last and probably one of our most important tips you can do. Tip 10, delete system 32. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Do not do this, please guys, do not do this. It's just a joke. The real tip 10 is spring cleaning. Ideally, you will want to clean out your PC's interior once per year. But let's be honest, most people never open up their case to blow out the dust that builds up over the years. Over time, dust can build up and affect your PC's performance tremendously by wreaking havoc on the component's temperatures and causing your system to throttle. Why not give it a try? And also, clean your keyboard while you're at it. I know some of you guys got some sticky keyboards. It can get pretty crazy under there, trust me. And that's all for today, guys. Let me know, what would be your dream PC build? Let me know down in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to never miss a video. I'm Marco the Martian, and it's been real, guys. Peace.